So, um, for those of you who were listening uh, previously, my talk about the Every Replay and Unity ads, uh, I was saying that making mobile game is hard. Uh, I would say that making mobile game also means building uh, multiple times the same game for all of the different platforms out there, which is long and annoying. So Unity now has what we call Cloud Build. The, basically, the goal is simply to talk about, if, obviously, why it's annoying, but also what's the solution, the benefits of it, and then I'm going to quickly show you uh, how it works, the dashboard online, and how it's, like, what, what we can do with it. Um, internet is super slow, so it might not work, but maybe it will. So, one of the things that you always do is making builds and make it again and again and then you switch from one console to the other and then you have to re-import everything and you keep waiting uh, uh, when you're building your game which is a total waste of time and definitely not productive so uh, and then when it's built you have to to get your build push it on the different device or share it on the network drive so you have testers or or uh, or producers or anyone who's gonna try your game which is also long so uh, th this is one of the things we wanted to improve to improve your productivity and make it more simpler for you to make great games actually we prefer that you guys focus on the good gameplay mechanics good fine-tuning polishing your games making things that are super awesome then waiting while you're building games so the cloud build solution uh, is super simple first uh, we are supporting different version control system uh, git perforce and svn at the moment so whenever you have something you want to try push it on your ver source version control system and then automatically the cloud build will watch your repo for changes we uh, will uh, and and you can also and then when a change is detected we are gonna start a build again and we're gonna deploy it for you automatically so you don't have to wait submit something if there's something wrong quickly you'll know it uh, over email you'll know who break it uh, which changes uh, broke the build uh, you can also add a specific uh, pre and post processing on your project you can also add custom scripting uh, per platform so you can have a totally different uh, build pipeline for Android or iOS at the moment and you can also we are also injecting what we call manifest in your app with different informations that you can then use uh, to show on the splash screen so you know exactly when you're running a build and you're not sure what it is well you still know what it is because either you can get a debug log when it was built which change list uh, uh, for which platform uh, and you can also put like different names for your build uh, yeah. so the thing is it's automatically it's automatic uh, anyone can trigger a build you just give permission to go on the dashboard then you can have your QLE who's not necessarily uh, sitting right next to your devs you can start builds whenever he's ready and he can then deploy to everyone um, obviously it's a build pipeline so you can also get all of the common errors to know why if it's not uh, if it's uh, the build is broken then you know why uh, you know unfortunately who broke it uh, but uh, it, we make it simple and super quick to get email not notification about what's what's going wrong so you can fix the problem as soon as possible with this there's no reason to delay uh, to delay uh, to, to always get the latest uh, because you know that when you're get, getting the latest either it works or you got an email and then you just wait for the, the, the fix to come and then you can get the latest so no reason to be uh, uh, desynchronized in, in your team. Um, yeah, so I, when you log to build.cloud.unity3d.com, you can create uh, your account. At the moment, it's free if you are the owner of a pro license. 
uh, it's free so use it try it and give uh, give us uh, your feedback so you can create a new project and then you're gonna enter the the information for your source, con source control in my case I use uh, I use perforce so um, I just enter the like perforce dot uh, whatever is your server dot com uh, 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 port six uh, one six 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 and then you can specify what type of uh, source, uh, source control management system you're using. And then we're gonna ask you like for a username and a password so you can have a different cloud build user dedicated for this. You will uh, say what's your uh, workspace to, to use. Let me see, can we reconnect? Yes. So I just use the, the normal, uh, my usual, um, here I have the user Francis Duranceau, and then this is my normal workspace. So Cloud Build, when I, I, I told Cloud Build to use that workspace, then it created a different Cloud Build, default Android, uh, owner is Cloud Build, uh, the root is somewhere on the server. Uh, I did nothing, all magic. Oh, crap. Uh, sorry about that. So, I was saying I just use my normal uh, workspace and then automatically Cloud Build made a, a copy of it and all set up for, for Cloud Build. Um, as I was saying, when you are here, you enter all your information, but when you're done with my project, which is called Spin, 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 because I just made the spinning cube, um, you see all the information here in the settings of the project. So you, you, we know that the type is this, the URL is something else. The project is going to be built on Android. That's the name of my bundle ID. So you provide all of these information and then you can click on start new builds and eventually you will have uh, the history. Uh, we're also build, so in this case, you, it looks like my first two attempts failed and uh, it didn't compile. And then for the latest build, I have the install button, I have the share button. Uh, I can, so I can directly share uh, to all of my team or to external producers, uh, the different builds. Uh, we have obviously the logs for what's being built it's not working? What is wrong with this? Sorry about that. Oh, I see. Now? Nope. Oh, crap. Right, right, right. Um, duplicate this display. Yeah, okay, sorry Sorry about that. So here we can see on my webpage, oh, finally, I probably missed the big part of it, right? <laughs> I'm gonna revert a little bit. So we're set up in a new project here. You enter all of the details and everything, and then in your settings, you'll see every, that everything is set. You can obviously edit project. You can uh, edit all of the different options, change them, update them, stop the build, uh, whatever. And uh, here, when you just see your project list, here it's the only project I have, I can just kick off a new build whenever I want or look at the, the history and then that's uh, what I was saying. Uh, I have different actions I can share uh, with other people uh, the build, I can, in I can install so it will automatically download 
we you can also uh, use scripts and um, do automatic installs and deployment on uh, mo uh, on uh, your different uh, mobile devices. Uh, we are also getting new stats about like the health. Oh crap! Internet is down again. So you can also have stats about the health of uh, of your your build and everything. So. As I was saying, it's free uh, if you are the owner of a pro license. So uh, my suggestion is for you to go and build the cloudunity3d.com uh, or email your question at cloudbuild.unity3d.com. So I'm Francis Duranceau, field engineer at Unity. And uh, for those of you who are uh, watched till the end, uh, go to this URL, the bit.ly one, and, win the, the uh, and I have the chance to win a free pro license. Thank you.